Hey there guys, it is me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week 3 of the Pokemon Champions League. Uh, apologies this is going up before week 2, I just have simply not had a chance to get around to recording week 2 yet. Um, I've just finished playing this game, and because I actually have got the time, I'm taking my chance to narrate this game um, while it is fresh in my mind. Uh, I will let you know that I did lose 3-0 in the last game. I cannot, for the love of me, remember who it was I played, um, so we are currently 0-2. Uh, against Kanto Cast Blue, um, and I believe it's the Seattle Mantines. Don't quote me on that. The correct team name will be in the title. Um, but yeah, basically, looking at the teams, uh, I'll go over my team because I've actually got Showdown open still. Uh, I've got the Choice Scarf Keldeo with the Hydro Pump Scored Secret Sword Hidden Power Bug. Um, as you can see, uh, looking at his team on the screen right now, he's got the Celebi. Um, the main sort of stop, and very much a hard stop, to my Keldeo is. Um, the, uh, the, the Tappy Finny. Um, but as you can see, Keldeo kind of destroys the rest of his team. Um, Hydro Pump just does a lot of damage. Uh, so, you know, it's a pretty safe, you know, click of a button whenever I want to do it. Once the Tappy Finny is gone or weakened. So, um, Keldeo. Uh, next we have uh, my, well, I'll leave my Evil Genius set. I will leave Tornadoes to the end. Um, we've got uh, Best Burb, the Porygon 2. Kind of like a mixed defense. Um, I've got quite an offensive team this game. Um, so I kind of wanted to bring this sort of mixed defensive to try and take as many hits as I can. I will say that my opponent has got Carrion Black in his draft, and I was so thankful he didn't bring it, because it's absolutely terrifying. Um, but I've got Thunderbolt, Tri-Attack, Recover, and Ice Beam. Um, didn't really want to bring Toxic, because obviously he has got that Misty Terrain which he can abuse. Uh, and Bolt Beam and Tri-Attack pretty much covers his team really nicely, uh, other than the Heatran. Um, but I have got lots of other ways of dealing with Heatran, so I'm, I'm quite happy, you know, with chipping away at Heatran while he can't really do too much to me. So that's Porygon. Uh, next up we have Florges. I've actually gone for an offensive Florges. I thought I'd experiment a bit here. Because looking at his whole draft, so what he's got on his uh, his uh, screen, or sorry, my screen in front of you, uh, he also had Kyron Black, Ambipom, Pikachu, and I, there's one other thing, but I cannot remember what that is. Um, so a lot of things in his team were weak to moves that Florges could learn, or um, were pretty much not going to take a Moonblast very well, so Modest Assault Vest, um, quite a bit of bulk investment, enough speed to outspeed something? I think it was Uninvested Heatran, I believe that's what it was. Um, I had Moonblast, Giga Drain, Psychic, and Hidden Power Ground. Giga Drain kind of been a nice way to heal back up against the Tappy Finny. Um, isn't going to do much, but you know, I'm not going to take much from his attacks, and I can get as much, you know, if I can get as much health back as I can, then even better. Next, we've got Extra Drill with the Sugar Berry, because I was kind of using this as like a pseudo way of dealing with um, Kyron Black. Very much expecting him to bring the Earth Power because it would also be able to hit the Charizard. Obviously he would have Dragon coverage, but um, you know, it hits my team decently well. I've got that alone on Raichu as well. Gigalith. So I uh, would have really expected him to bring Earth Power if he did bring Kyron Black, but he didn't. I've got Earthquake, Iron Head, Rapid Spin, and Stealth Rock. Really needed Spinner because I'm bringing the Tornado set, which I'll go over in a second, and Charizard. And Stealth Rocks because that would really help me break down his team enough for the Tornadoes to come in and do some work. Um, I, what I did not forget to mention was I am enough speed to outspeed. Um, what is it? I can't remember what it is now. It's something. Um, I've got max attack and then a little tiny bit of HP investment. Finally, we've got Charizard X. Uh, max HP, max, uh, sorry, nearly max HP. Very nearly max speed. Uh, enough to outspeed non Scarf Kyron Black or, you know, Scarf Kyron Black at plus one. And 44 in attack. Uh, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Roost, Dragon Dance. I was very close to not bringing Dragon Dance and bringing Thunder Punch. So if I could bring Adamant, Thunder Punch, um, I think I could two hit KO, or nearly two hit KO, uh, tap and Finny um, with Thunder Punch. So yeah, that would have been kind of nice if I could have two hit KO'd that thing uh, with, with, you know, what I imagined would have been the best sort of check he had for my Charizard X. Um, finally, the Evil Genius Plan kind of set, I guess. Going back to the uh, Tornadus uh, Incarnate, um, we have got uh, Defiant uh, with the Adrenaline Orb as the item, uh, with Acrobatics, U-Turn, Superpower, and Sludge Wave. Now, my game plan going into this game is weaken the Manectric as much as I can, do not kill it, and let my let it come in freely on my Tornadus and set up my Evil Master plan. So. If you guys don't know how the Define ability and Adrenaline Orb work, Define uh, gives you plus two attack when his stat is lowered, so he wants to bring in uh, for the Intimidate, or well, he's obviously going to bring it in to try and kill me, because, you know, you see a fast flying type, you're going to bring in your fast electric type. Um, he brings it in, gives me that plus one attack, because obviously I'm brought to minus one, plus two, and minus one to one. 
uh, is, oh, I'm running out of time, and Adrenaline Orb goes off when you get intimidated by an opponent, and then, you know, the moves are kind of for coverage to his team. So, let's get straight into this. Um, turn one, I am actually going to reveal the Hidden Power Bug. I'm expecting it to go for Stealth Rock, and if he wanted to click Giga Drain, then I reckon I could take that quite nicely. Um, I'm going to switch out here, though, because it's quite obvious that he'll die to a number one, and he's got Tappy Finny as a fantastic switch, or Crobat, I brought. Um, I'm going to bring a floor just there because that I decided that's probably the best thing I have. Um, he gets does switch into Crobat here, which should have been kind of obvious. And I see the Misty Seed, which is incredibly weird, but it makes sense later on. And I go for the Giga Drain. I do have the Psychic. I could have probably stayed in, but, you know, I didn't want to take a Poison move. And uh, X-Drill can also resist uh, its Flying Stab. Obviously, this thing could have Heat Wave, which I was terrified of. Uh, but he does actually click U-Turn here. I kind of just had to gamble. Uh, at this point and just hope he didn't have it. So I do click Rapid Spin because I don't want Rocks up because I've still got Charizard uh, non mega and Tornadus uh, obviously a huge threat to his team by look, the looks of it um, fully healthy so I kind of decided I needed that. Uh, I go into Floor just here um, I take the Stone Edge, I was not expecting it to click the Earthquake because I do have Charizard still and the Tornadus um, but I, I bring this thing, click Psychic and does a good, good amount of damage. I expect him to switch out into either Tappy Finny or the Crobat because you know, they're decent switches on paper to this thing. Um, I've decided to go for the Giga Drain this time, but that Giga Drain is actually going to put... Uh, sorry, with leftovers, it's going to keep Celebi in range uh, of a Moonblast. And Moonblast does take this thing out. So his Rock is dead. He's got Rocks up, but as long as I can get a switch in to Tappy Finny, uh, or the Hippowdon, or the Heatran, or even, the, well, most of his team, um, I can pretty much still rapid spin away these Rocks, so I'm not too bothered by this point. Uh, gonna go into Porygon 2 because it can take on pretty much all the hits this thing can throw at me with a Violite. Um, so I, I take that really well. And I'm just gonna click Recover because I guess I'm back to full health. Um, now, this is kind of where the Misty Seed comes into play. His last move is Thief. So, wait, he has Thief, Brave Bird, U-Turn. I'm expecting his Roost. Um, I go for Thunderbolt, I'm Analytic, and that does a whole load of damage. I get the Paralysis. Um, at the time, you know, I thought it probably mattered, but I think in the long run, it probably didn't. Um, what it did help me do is it let me sack off Flawgis. I looked at his team and I was like, okay, Flawgis isn't really doing too much else for me. Uh, I'm going to bring in the Molar Click Rapid Spin. He can't set rocks back up. Um, if this thing is his Defogger, then he can no longer get rid of the rocks because it will die on switching. Obviously, Tappy Finny could be the uh, Defogger at this point. But he makes a very ballsy play into Heatran. He's got a Balloon, but if I'm going to kill Crobat, I'm not going to click Earthquake, uh, especially if you're paralyzed. So he gets to the Magma Storm and gets my Charizard. Charizard was thinking, okay, there's something I can sack off to break the um, the balloon. But it turns out he just clicks the Earth Power and it does a lot of damage. I'm max HP, so this thing is probably heavily invested in a special attack. Obviously, with Magma Storm, I'm going to go down anyway next turn. So I'm just going to click Dragon Claw and pop that balloon. Because it does mean now that extra can deal with this thing when it's in, if he's not max speed. That's it. I can outspeed max speed Heatran. That was my, that was what my speed investment was for on extra Drill. Um, I double in, oh sorry, I go into Keldeo and pull a double out into Porygon 2. I pull a lot of uh, doubles this game. Um, I was really on kind of like top form I feel this game. I um, think he's going to go into Finny. He does give the Moonblast and annoying to get the special attack drop. Um, however, Thunderbolt still does a good amount of damage even after leftovers. And as long as I can keep chipping this thing away, uh, it's health away. Because obviously it doesn't get reliable recovery. It only gets leftovers. Um, for some reason it doesn't get Moonlight. I don't understand that. Um, I'm going to continuously click Thunderbolt. Uh, in comes the Minectric, and after Thunderbolt and uh, Stealth Rocks, it loses about a quarter of its health. Going to switch into Extra because I am making the correct calls at the moment, and I'm now going to double back out into my um, to my Paragon 2. Now, remembering that I had the Thief go off against me before, I'm not entirely sure I can live a Thunderbolt, but I kind of want to try and recover up against this thing. And luckily, I live on 1%, and if I didn't, um, this game could have probably gone slightly differently. Um, I'm going to continuously recover up here. Obviously, I want to try and keep P2 as healthy as possible, because P2 is P2. It's a ball ache. Um, but he gets the power there, and at this point, I'm thinking, right, I've got to get the damage off from this thing that I need to get off. Um, so I can bring a Keldeo and scare him into Finny again. So I'm going to go for the Tri-Attack, and it does a whole load of damage, nearly half. Um, and he kills him with the Thunderbolt, which I'm fine with. Because now, as long as I can kill Finny um, with Tornadus, I pretty much win the game. Um, so I'm going to pull the double into Extra Drill here. Expecting him to go into Finny, which he does again. And no, sorry, he goes into Crobat, sacks it off, which is awesome. Um, so now he goes into Hippowdon. Um, I'm going to click Earthquake here because I'm kind of leaving Nesculin to die at this point so I can bring in Keldeo again. Um, but he slacks off, and at this point, right, I'm like, right, Keldeo's at full HP. If he wants to keep this thing in, I am going to 
liver hit. He goes for Stone Edge and he misses, expecting me to go into Tornadus. I'm not risking that thing because it is definitely my win condition at this point. Go for the Hydro Pump, expecting him to stay in this time because he's made so many switches into Keldeo on this, uh, into um, Tapu Fini on this thing. Uh, I missed the Hydro Pump though, so it kind of makes up for the missed uh, Stone Edge. But I get my prediction correct again. Go out into Excadrill when he brings in Tapu Fini. Now I'm pretty sure I'll outspeed this thing unless he has a lot of speed investment. Go for the Earthquake and that brings him down to the point where a Sludge Wave from my uninvested Tornadus will kill this thing. Um, so I'm pretty confident this thing is probably max defense if not mixed. Um, so I'm confident the Sludge Wave will kill. Don't think it will kill me anyway. With a Moonblast it will do a lot of damage, sure. And now in comes the Manectric. The evil genius plan is going to come off here. The Intimidate does activate my Defiant, puts me in plus one, and the Adrenaline Orb does go off. So now I'm now basically like a, a Dragon Dancing uh, Tornado at this point. I click the Acrobatics, um, kind of reveal it at this point. I have the Super Power on this because I needed it to deal with the um, Chiron Black. I did have U-Turn as my final move. I kind of gambled on the fact I had Manectric weakened by this point to actually kill it. Um, and his final mon is the Hippowdon, so I'm happy just to make Acrobatics a plus one. That still does absolutely nothing. Um, but I have got that Keldeo in the back. The damage he has on him um, means I can click the Scald, get the kill, don't have to worry about missing Hydro Pump and any kind of rolls with him killing me. So that is the very close 1-0 game. I enjoyed that, mainly because my Tornado set, my, you know quick thinking uh, in team building actually came to fruition, it actually worked, so that kind of made me feel really good about how this battle went, obviously it was a very close game, so a really good game, Kanto, I really did enjoy that, um, gives us our first win in the PCL, which is awesome, felt like I needed that sooner rather than later to actually keep them, you know, uh, get me into a good swing of things, I won in the PPL last week too, I've still got my PPL game to play this week as well, so put me in good stead for that, um, not entirely sure I have next week, um, but that battle will hopefully be up on time, I am away this weekend, and I am working a lot next week, and working the weekend next week, so there's, uh, there's a slight chance it could be up by then, because I've got my PPL battle to do as well. Um, but thank you for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like. Let me know what you think of the team. I'll leave it down in the um, description below, just so you can have a read. Uh, if my explanations didn't make much sense, I know they were kind of rushed, so read that in your own time. Check out Kanto's uh, links below, so that'll be his. Uh, I'll put his Twitch in there, because I'm pretty sure he's a big streamer. Uh, YouTube, Twitter, uh, I'm pretty sure they're the main three that you'll probably need, so make sure you do check those out. Su uh, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will look forward to seeing you uh, next week for whoever my uh, game against my next week's opponent will be. So, thanks for watching guys, and take care.